Athens, a city of places and stuff. What makes the Benaki Museum so special? I don't know, let's find out. What up, Grease Crew? This is the Benaki Museum. It was founded in 1931 by Antonis Benakis in memory of his father, Emmanuel Benakis. And the building itself is actually the old Benaki family home. This museum houses a collection of art and artifacts related to Greece history ranging from prehistoric times to the present day. Let's go check it out. Though the Benaki Museum does have a couple of other annexes, this main building that I'm in right now is devoted primarily to Greek culture and history. What you're looking at right here are artifacts from prehistoric and ancient Greece, of which the museum has quite a few. Sorry for the video quality here. These are a bunch of ancient Grecian pots and urns. Look familiar? So the first floor deals mostly with ancient and classical Greece. That means lots of things made out of pottery and stone. There are some beautiful sculptures and marble works on this floor. This floor is pretty similar to the museum we went to on Santorini for ancient Thera, but with more stuff and cooler stuff. These are some cool decorated pots and figurines, as well as some military equipment from ancient Greece. Check out these two. These are statuettes of Zeus and Athena, both from the late 2nd century BC. Zeus is mean mugging today. This gold work is from Greece's Hellenistic period, when there was a great rise in gold work. I felt a strange affinity with this rock, so I checked it out. Turns out it's the door of a tomb from Syria. These things are called Phaeum portraits. They were placed in tombs as representations of the deceased, and they show Egyptian influence in Greece. Check out that pot. That show is a nice pot. So this one is a replica of a mosaic from the Hagia Sophia in Constantinople. This elaborate iconostasis was the coolest thing on floor two, in my opinion. This map is a piece of history. It was created by the Venetians and likely associated with their efforts to repossess parts of Greece. Yo, what up, dog? The Benaki also has some more modern artwork. These were some of my favorite paintings. There's even a cafe up here if you need a break, you can come and pay more money for food than you want to. These are some cool traditional instruments, mostly from the 20th century, one of my favorite parts of the museum. Yo Dallas, you want that hat dude? I want that hat. Dude, man I really want that hat too. Guys, that was the Benaki Museum. There it is. Uh, my favorite part was definitely that one pot back there. But I also really like the art exhibit, uh, music, and ancient Greek pottery, and the weapons exhibit too. So, dude, watch out for that gate. Uh, if you like coming and checking out some modern and ancient Greek culture and history, this is the place to go. Right in the middle of downtown Athens. Stop it. <laughs> Come check it out.